Good morning, good morning. Enjoyed a long for trip of my life as an airline pilot. <laughs> I have never been to this place for a layover, and also we're going to an airport that I've never been to. And if you're new here, I'm Joey Mucho. I fly an Airbus out of the Tampa airport. A little background from me. I did my flight training at a place called Melbourne Flight Training in Florida, all the way from my discovery flight, all the way through my flight instructing every single hour at that school. And then I went to fly for Endeavor Air, which is Delta's regional airline. And then now I'm here, Tampa. Hopefully it's a fun trip. Let's do it. Also, I am on reserve A, so they called me at 3 a.m. for a 6.30 show. It's like 6 a.m. right now. So with being on reserve, you don't know where you're gonna be going. So it kind of keeps things interesting. Sometimes they call you and they tell you you're doing a reposition flight. Sometimes they call you and tell you you're doing something you probably didn't really want to do, but sometimes they call you and you get a trip that's pretty cool, either somewhere where you got friends or just a cool location they haven't been to. So it keeps things pretty interesting and spontaneous. So with reserve, you usually get like 12 hard days off where you know you're not gonna fly. And the rest of the days you're on call and you might fly. So 21st right now, and I've only flown two days. So they can call you every day if they want to, but they usually don't because there's not that many people calling in sick or just situations where you would need to get called in. So that's kind of the schedule that I like. I don't necessarily like this reserve A, which is on call from 3 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. I like long call, which gives you a 12 hour call out where you're on call all day but if they call you, they have to give you 12 hours to get to the airport. So this is a short call, two hour call out. I'm about to hop on the bus and then get on over to the plane. And this first flight is just a deadhead. So a deadhead means that I'm not operating. I'm just sitting in the back and I'm getting to a new location. So let's do it. All right, walk around done. It's a little bit rainy here in Puerto Rico, but should be nice maybe later and then into tomorrow. Go to St. Martin and then back here and then we're chilling for 24 hours. So I'm excited for that. Before every flight, we do a walk around and then also after each flight, we do a walk around as well. Just to make sure nothing's broken, check the tires, check the brakes, wear indicators, and then just the general airframe of the plane and a bunch of other stuff. But yeah, you just want to make sure she's good to go because that lies on Really the captain, but the first officer usually does it. So the captain can decide to do it if he wants. But usually he lets the first officer get out of here and get wet. All right, I just realized we we're going to St. Thomas, not St. Martin. So different approach. Captain's flying this first leg, I'll fly back and just get everything set up here in the cockpit and we'll be off and out of this rain, hopefully. All right, we just landed at St. Thomas and then we're just shooting straight back to Puerto Rico. Quick turn here, just straight back. And we're back in San Juan, just did the ILS runway 1-0. Trip's done in terms of flying. And then we're just gonna go to the hotel, 24 hour layover, so really excited for that. We're just gonna hang out here, and then I'm dead heading home tomorrow around four o'clock, so not too bad. All right, and we are at the hotel. This is the sweetest hotel that I've had since I worked at this company. Nice big bathroom, walk-in shower, and then Pretty nice view of the ocean. This is sick. What? So sitting on reserve, you don't get many good trips. You get kind of all the scraps because people call in sick for it, they don't want the trip, or you get some reposition flights. So you rarely get an awesome overnight like a Puerto Rico overnight with a view like this. So I'm about to hit the gym real quick and then meet up with my captain and some other crew members, go grab some food and then maybe go out later. All right, gym time. Squeezing in a quick one because I'm meeting up with the crew. Then we're going to a steakhouse in a little bit after this. And I'm just gonna do a quick upper body workout. I'll share that with you. I hear the gym here is pretty sweet, so excited to see it. I only have like 30 minutes, so I'm gonna show you how I do quick workouts. I just superset everything. So I'm gonna look at what's on the plan, you know, make adjustments as necessary for what equipment I have, and I'm gonna superset everything, and I should be able to get done in around 30 minutes. Oh, look at this. Absolutely beautiful. 
All right, we just got to the gym. It is sweet. I mean, cardio equipment for days as usual, but we have a bunch of leg machines. I'm not hitting legs today, but we got lat pull downs. We got a bicep curl machine, and then doubles up 75 along with the cable stack and a pull up bar. So definitely gonna use some of that. This is a sick gym with a good view of the ocean. Let's get after it. On this one, we are hitting back and shoulders, credentials before we get started. Everything superset, four sets of 10. Pull up, superset it with the dumbbell lateral raise. The cable row, superset it with the dumbbell shoulder press. Lat pull down, superset with the reverse fly. All right, that was it, workout done. Six movements, three back and three shoulders, and sets of 10 on everything. So start with four sets of 10 and the next four movements, three sets of 10. Now I'm gonna head back to the to the room, get showered up and then get ready for dinner. If you're short on time, just superset everything. I mean, I'd much rather be able to go a little bit heavier and take longer breaks. But like I said, if you're short on time, you have minimal equipment, you might as well just do supersets or higher reps. So that's my workout tip on the go. All right, I'm heading to a spot called Fogo de Chao. I think there's a whole nother crew that's meeting us out over there as well. They flew us here originally and then we took their plane and went to St. Thomas and back. I am hungry. All right, it's bedtime. Went out with my captain and a whole nother crew and uh, got some dinner, had some drinks, played some pool, had a nice night. And then tomorrow, the other crew flying out super early. They're doing a turn. And then I'm actually gonna be on their flight back at four o'clock. And then me and my captain are gonna chill and we might surf tomorrow. So looking forward to that. If it's not blown out, if it's not too windy, always fun going out with the crew, especially when you have the time and you have an overnight like this in such a beautiful spot. So gonna enjoy the rest of this overnight tomorrow. But until then, it's time for bed. I'm passing out. Good night. All right, good morning. It is pretty windy. It's pretty blown out, so we're not going to surf. But it's still absolutely beautiful out. The sun is shining. The water is looking super clear. Right down there, I definitely need to swim out to that dock. Okay, I'm going to go grab some breakfast. My captain's down there grabbing the table. We're going to start the day. Hit the beach a little bit. Just kind of hang out. Might, might hit one more workout before I leave here. And then head back to yeah, gonna soak up the rest of the day here in Puerto Rico. Beautiful, beautiful day on the beach. Tip of the day, if you have the opportunity to go into the ocean and get some sun every day, definitely do it. It makes you feel so good. The ocean water is like the best thing. I mean, my hair feels the best after I go surfing. And my skin feels good. I just, I feel refreshed. I think soaking up a good amount of sun every single day is key. All right, got enough sun. Time to head back to the room. Gonna get ready for a little workout before we get out of here. Maybe take some uh, ketones and power lift. Or I'm completely off the of caffeine for, uh, for at least a month. Just trying to get some more natural energy rather than always using caffeine. All right. Getting ready for the gym, pre-workout, supplements here. So I'm just gonna have a power lift. This has 10 grams of protein and some electrolytes. Like I said, I'm off caffeine, so I've been trying these ketones from Ketone IQ, HVNN. And then I'm gonna have a little bit of more protein, this protein bar from VPN. All right, back to the gym, walking on over. We're gonna hit chest and arms right now. 12.30, got a 3.30 van, so I don't really have to rush that much, but I'll still probably superset a lot of this stuff since there's minimal weight over here. And then a lot of people ask about my days off. Like, when, when do you take a day off? I really just listen to my body. So right now my legs are still super sore from my last lift back home, and uh, my chest and my arms feel good. So I'm gonna hit that, and then I'll just keep on rolling until my body's just a little bit wrecked and then I'll take a day off. Started off with a super set of push-ups and curls. Then we went into alternating incline dumbbell press, four sets of 12. Then we went into tricep extensions on the cable stack, chest press machine, hammer curls, four sets of 12, and then hang leg raise for the abs. 
All right, workout done. It was about an hour, so a little bit longer. Than the last one for sure. Um, I got two hours to my van time. Just gonna head back, get ready. We have to get ready. I just have to be dressed just in case I get used when I land in Tampa. But like I said, this is just a deadhead. So I'm just sitting in the back on this one, and then should be done. I'm on call tomorrow. All right, showered up, and we got two hours. Got to find some food. Um, I know I have like a protein bar in my bag, but I want to get like a real meal and then I'll have that protein bar and that Tom's uh, meat stick on the, on the flight home. All right, I think I found it. It is open. I might just go with this. We got some pork, white rice, beans, plantains. Last meal in Puerto Rico. This is going to be good. Let's do it. When it comes to my meals, I just want to make sure I'm getting in protein. So definitely some sort of a steak, pork, chicken, and then I'll usually get some carbs where, you know, this time it was rice. I do rice a lot. I don't shy away from carbs. I think carbs are demonized for some reason, and they should be demonized if you're not active. If you're just sitting on a couch, you're not really moving the body, then you shouldn't be eating a lot of carbs. But if you're using those carbs for energy, then you're good to go. And as long as you're hitting that protein, you're getting enough calories, you're gonna to continue to make some gains if that's your goal. If you're trying to lose weight, you wanna be in a caloric deficit, uh, burning more calories than you're taking in. But still, protein's key. I try to get uh, at least 180 to 220 grams of protein every single day. If you're trying to make gains, you should do your body weight and some. So I'm 185 pounds, so I wanna be getting in at least 185 grams of protein a day. A lot of people always ask why I'm always shaving, why I can't grow my beard. You can't. Unfortunately, most US airlines, you have to shave. So, that's why. Sometimes I mean, I'll rock the mustache, I'll let rock the mustache. So you can't rock the full beard. Some cargo companies you can, but unfortunately not with the airline owner. Uh, I forgot if I talked about this, but I can already see the comments coming in. Why do you get dressed up if you're just deadheading and I'm working? So yeah, that is true. I'm not flying, but I'm still on call. So when I land in Tampa, they can use me if they want. I mean, they still have some time to use me for the day. Um, there's not that much opportunity for them to do it, but technically I am still working, so I should still be in uniform. So. That's why I'm getting dressed up, even though I'm just sitting in the back. All right, goodbye Puerto Rico. Goodbye to this view until I'm back next time. Hopefully I'll get another trip. But like I said, I'm on reserve, so I don't really get to pick and choose. <laughs> I just get called and I go with the flow. Guys, we're riding on over to the airport. So a lot of people ask about how we get our rides to and from the airport. So the company completely covers it. They handle it. Right when I show up to the hotel, they gave me my hotel key card with a time on it for my ride back to the airport the next day. So I knew today at 328, my ride was gonna be here and boom, the airline handles it and my ride was here. So that's it, we're heading back and then get on this flight back to Tampa. back that was a great trip honestly deadhead there deadhead back 16 minute flight each way from Puerto Rico to St. Thomas got a new delivery from BPN so I'm gonna open this up I have a steak in the fridge ready to go and then I'm gonna hit the ice bath and the sauna so if you want to stick around for that that's what's about to go down let's see what we got uh if you don't know I work with BPN so this is where I get all my supplements I absolutely love this company is a DC question. Creating a great team, creating a great product. So, I'll show you what I got here. My favorite flavor, the Nutter Bar Blast. If you know me, I'm always, always talking about how good this flavor is. That's protein. 
the whey protein bars, they have plant-based as well, but we, we have been really liking the whey ones, 15 grams of protein, chocolate, peanut butter, blondie. I'll put the link in the bio, by the way, or in the description, go Joey M for all this stuff. And then I'm staying away from caffeine, so I didn't get any flight, but I got some endo pump and I got some more creatine. Um, so this is stuff that I use every single day. Anyway. Time to cook up a steak, I'm so hungry. All right, for the steak, cast iron, of course. Then all I do is a little bit of oil on the steak, a little bit of butter in the cast iron. And then I do have some sides as well. We got some sweet potatoes and some roasted veggies. So I think I'm gonna go with the roasted veggies. Throw that in the air fryer, cook up the steak. Oh. Be Look at this thing. Oh, damn. Super simple, just some oil. Lemon pepper season. Oh, that is exactly what you want right there. You don't want to burn the butter, but you do want it to be nice and hot. I'm thinking like five minutes on this side, and then we're going to do three minutes on the other. So while that's going down, we'll give the other side. Throw the pepper. I'm gonna throw these veggies in the air fryer. They're already cooked. All right, it looks a little burnt, but I'm telling you it's not. All right, moving through. See how the veggies cooked. I love medium rare, further on the rare side. Oh my God. Medium rare steak, roasted veggies, too good. All right, that dinner was amazing. Pretty rare for me, honestly, eating vegetables. I usually never eat vegetables. So I went to a new market. The Mazzaro's market here at St. Pete, which is amazing. They had a bunch of, bunch of cool sides, and we got some veggies. Well, I'm about to get in this thing. Oh my gosh. For three minutes, hop out, and I'm gonna go straight to the sauna for like 20 minutes. So, pretty damn cold. Probably, let's check. Uh, 41. I can't get it to 39 for some reason. It's always 41. <laughs> Whoa! Oh my God! Whew. Whew. Woo! First minute's always absolutely brutal. We just gotta capture that breath. I always tell people, nice deep breath in, deep breath out, slower out than in. All right. Get out feels good. All good things are delayed gratification. Eating healthy, studying for a test, working hard for a new job, preparing for a job interview, and getting the job or whatever. Getting jacked, getting cut, losing, losing weight. It's all delayed gratification. The instant gratification, it's all bad. I mean, I can't think of one thing that's instantly exciting or rewarding that is good for you, other than hitting the lottery. But even that's usually bad. So, delayed gratification. All right, last event of the day. Take the sauna. I already did one round, I'll do a little bit more. But usually I'll do the cold plunge early in the morning, and then the sauna after my lift. But obviously today, a little work trip. So I hit the plunge three minutes. And then I did 20 minutes in here. That's the end of the video. Thanks everybody for watching. I am blessed to have the life that I have, to have the job that I have, to live where I live. Please let me know in the comments. Let me know what you want to see more of. I know a lot of you guys want to see more of the aviation side of things. And if you have any questions, hit me up. I'm going to do more like answering questions on my TikTok and maybe I'll do a Q&A on YouTube as well. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.